Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday. Here's your early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum with some words of wisdom. Wednesday wisdom, that's a good thing too. To get us started thinking about things and breathing. That is our word for today is breath. So, well, let's engage in that right off the bat. Nice deep belly breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Do you feel that relaxation right off the bat? In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Filling your belly up as full as you can. Hold briefly. Out through the mouth. Good morning, Gwen. Good morning, Mel. Welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. We are starting with the breath, as always. Good morning, Cindy. But we are going to be even more mindful of the breath this morning. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. In fact, I'm getting the hint. I want to. I did a little bit of journaling already this morning. And I wrote breathing deeply. And I was breathing deeply before I got up this morning. And thinking about breath and how important it is. And then I pulled today's card, which is forest breath. <laughs> and then I turned on my um, insight timer as I was writing. Good morning, Ruth Ann. Welcome. And the quote was from Thich Nhat Hanh about breath. So I'm like, okay, I get the hint, I get the hint. So what I wrote in here was the value of the breath, the exchange of the breath with the trees, and we'll hear about that in a moment, the movement of life on the breath. The mere act of breathing deeply saves the world. So think about that. As you're breathing today, you may think, well, that's just a selfish thing. I'm just using up oxygen. No, 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 no. You're exchanging with the trees. We give them carbon dioxide. They give us oxygen. The card is going to be very valuable, I think, in terms of embracing this idea of the breath being so important. But let's begin with Earth Magic, Stephen D. Farmer, and begin with the breath. Let's keep going. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. I can just feel that letting go here. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. One more nice deep breath. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And as soon as I pulled this card from the deck, or this card chose me, however you like to look at it, I was so happy with the colors and the words. It all just fell into place. Forest. Breath. And we're seeing these colors right now. We're probably a little further along than it is in the picture, but the colors are beautiful right now. If you take a moment to observe. Take that moment. It's worth it. So here we go. Forest. Breath. Please keep breathing deeply and easily as I'm reading to you. See what grabs you out of this. As we make our way across the meadow to the thicker parts of the forest, there is a subtle shift in the sensations in the body. One that might initially be barely perceptible, but soon becomes undeniable. It's nearly impossible not to take deeper breaths. Yes, exactly. It's a very peaceful place to be. You can be in woods that are right in the middle of the city, a park, whatever, and there's that sense of calm. There's that peace that comes over you being around the trees. How often do we not take the time to engage in that? How much healthier would we be if we did? The richness of the forest's oxygen, given freely and generously from the trees, the standing ones, to us is a natural exchange for the carbon dioxide we release every time we inhale. 
Further, the animals of the forest participate in this exchange as well, in what is one of the most miraculous and remarkable collaborations between plants and animals that serve to help each other th live and thrive. So here's the part we want to pay attention to. The ratio of this oxygen-carbon dioxide exchange has been in balance for millennia, but has been changing quite dramatically in the last several years as carbon dioxide levels have been rising. This is about things like deforestation, okay? So, we have ways we can deal with this. As each of us deals with this, even on a small scale, remember our relentless incrementalism, each of us doing a little turns into a lot. There are many parts of the world where we can still enjoy the refreshing and revitalizing effects of an afternoon walk, enjoying the sights and sounds and smells of a walk in the forest. The couple of places where I've been lately where I've felt this the most are the National Forest in Upper Michigan and with the Redwoods in California and Oregon. Choose to be around trees. Choose to plant trees. Now's a beautiful time to plant some trees. Through prayer and action, we can express our gratitude to these tree beings for the many gifts they provide, not the least of which is contributing to the very air we breathe. Things are different after a walk in the forest. Have you found that? That if you go in stressed, you come out more calm with a broader perspective? So here's the part that's talking directly to us. So, nice deep breath. Let it go. Bring online the intuitive part of yourself that knows what you need to hear here. Your breathing is too shallow. Although it may feel natural, it is an unhealthy habit that causes this shortness of breath. When you subconsciously subconscious, shorten your breath, no matter if this is habitual or triggered by some event or circumstances, oftentimes when we get injured, we go, <gasps> oftentimes when we're frightened by something, we go, <gasps> And we stop breathing. As soon as you notice, go back to the breath. And the deeper, the better. Regardless of what the circumstances are, that deeper breath will help you through. Okay? It activates certain physiological signals that prepare your system for fight or flight. Another conditioned response to perceived danger is to hold your breath. This is your survival response, although it does not serve you to do so. So breathe. Even just a couple of breaths makes a huge difference. Inhale deeply, regardless of your concerns, worries, or problems. Then let it go, literally and figuratively. Next, allow yourself to breathe a little deeper and slower a few times. Remember that every breath you inhale is a gift and every breath you exhale is a gift. The forest is a clear reminder of how this works. So, what are you noticing as you're breathing? I'm gonna show you the picture again. What are you noticing right here, right now, in this moment as you're breathing? Do you find that it's hard to take a deep breath? Do you find that it's hard to exhale fully? Just notice, don't judge it, just notice, but keep the breath going. Nice deep belly breath. And out. And I felt that one hit a little higher. In. And out. So throughout the day, I'd like you to practice breathing deeply. It can be, maybe you set a, a goal with yourself. Every time I'm at a stoplight, I'll breathe. Every time I turn around, I'll breathe. Every time I'm washing my hands, I'll breathe. Some kind of a link that reminds you you're going to breathe. You could set the timer on your phone once an hour. Yes, very calming, very calming. Because the deep breath signifies relaxation, signifies releasing fight or flight and moving into that homeostatic state. Aligned, grounded breathing. 
So we want to practice this. We want to help ourselves break out of the habit patterns we've created of we rush through our day like maniacs. We breathe very shallowly. Good morning, Rebecca. Glad you're here. Welcome. I'll show you our pretty card for today. It is breath. Breath in the forest. So if you have access to, even if it's a single tree in your yard, even if it's a tree in the boulevard in the city where you live, just go be with the tree for a brief period of time. I don't care how long. Two minutes. Something. Break pattern. Break pattern. We need the breath. We need all of us breathing deeply. We need all of us aligned in that calm, centered state. Again, at the center of life's storms, I stand serene. Take a breath. Let it go. Can you feel yourself begin to ground with every exhale? like those roots going out through the soles of your feet and the base of your spine, deep into Mother Earth, grounding us, making us solid. We can still sway at the top, but just like the trees, we are grounded. So what will you do today? Put it in the feed, make a commitment here. What will you do today to remember to breathe? Yes, exactly, other plants also. Yes, yes, yes. And. As we shift our balance again, where we plant more trees and plants and create more oxygen in our world, as we stop deforesting, create more oxygen in our world, as we tend to the number of humans that we have on planet Earth, more oxygen available. Just working a little at a time. Again, that relentless incrementalism you yourself don't have to fix the whole shebang. Yes, you can feel the groundedness when you touch a tree. There's great value in being a tree hugger. Great value in being a tree hugger. Do an experiment. How does it feel different if you hug a mighty oak? If you hug a sequoia, if you're in the area where you have those? If you hug a birch tree, a maple, an elm? What do you notice? What if it's a fruit tree? What if it's a sapling compared to a tree that's been around for a hundred years? What do you notice feels different as you touch all of these different trees? And the plants too. Put your hand under a flower and lift its beautiful face to the sun. I was noticing a dahlia yesterday as I was, where was I going? I don't even remember, but I noticed this dahlia. And isn't that interesting? I don't remember where I was going, but I remember the flower. <laughs> but it was a branching one that had white flowers all over it, and they were probably as big as my hand. But I just appreciated its beauty. Just appreciated its beauty. And when we take time to appreciate the beauty in the world, we become more beautiful. And then we move around the world and spread that. So your mission today, breathe, 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 breathe. And then take that beautiful oxygen, carbon dioxide pattern with you. Share it with others. So if someone near you is stirred up, like let's say you're in line at the bank and someone's having a hard time ahead of you, breathe for them. Just stand there and... As if you're sending them that calming breath. Good morning, Beth. Glad you're here. We're just breathing. And you may notice that as you stand there and breathe for that person who's upset, their breathing begins to synchronize with yours. We don't want to go the other direction, and oftentimes that's what's happening because we're not conscious. Someone's stirred up. They're going, and we breathe, we begin to breathe with them. No, bring them over to the light side. Don't go to the dark side of upset, anxiety, anger, frustration, all that stuff. Let that be and breathe. Every breath you take is a gift. Every breath you exhale is a gift. Keep that gift giving going. Have an awesome Wednesday. We'll see you again tomorrow. Remember, you're capable of far more than you think you are, including 
consciously breathing deeply. Bye-bye.